Yeah, there we go now. There is a level of inception. Ethan Oliver Ralph of the RalphRetort.com, which, um, hold up. Let me just check real quick before I say this and sound stupid. Of the RalphRetort.com, which, once I verify that I'm human, is still suspended. <laughs> <laughs> can can pig tits not fucking fix his website like what the fuck are you doing bro oh my god i'll get back to this in a second just take my word for it that this is a broken ass fucking page even the cloudflare page is broken for it at this point dark side phil says um in response to kino casino clip saying dude Ethan Ralph, a grown-ass adult, is acting like I just did in my early 20s in the Fighting Game Cup. I know nothing of... Which I assume is what that stands for. I don't know for sure. I know nothing of the man, but this is some clown mode shit. LOL. Ethan Ralph responds. Dude, your DSP. Begging for a working toilet. Sad. This is not to mention all the other grifts and frauds you pulled. It... Literally endless. I was going to leave this faggot. He's too pussy to say faggot on Twitter because his Twitter account's the most important. Most He loves his Twitter account more than he loves his own children. I was going to leave this F star 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 DSP alone, but I guess he wants the smoke. Detractors get in touch. Kino Casino has tried to whitewash his history, and now he thinks he's big again, LOL. Or Lamau, even. Let's bring him down a few notches. Dark Side Phil is going to heckin' expose DSP. DSP, you might have thought DSP was heckin' exposed by the three and a half hour long documentary that aired to 11,000 people and has received hundreds of thousands of views in the first day. Nah, boy, you ain't seen shit yet. Wait until the top A logs and detractors. Get on the Keel stream, baby. We got 100 plus viewers round the clock on the Keel stream. You ain't seen shit yet. You think that there's smoke? Wait until you're in the fire, baby. The fire known as the sector. Cool, Ralph. Good luck with that. I'm sure that associating with the fucking deranged retards that are involved in the DSP detractor dump is going to work out great for you as everything that you're trying to accomplish does. Um, now, he's been up to a couple other things, which I will explain, of course, as I do. I love to explain. Uh, he put out this message, uh, ball washing Rikeda. Uh, Ralph says, Rikeda Law hasn't told... Him oh, wait, let me read the original. Um, Grifty says, this would require Nick to be able to tell Ralph what to do. They seem to be civil, at least at this point, but it wasn't too long ago Ralph was not Nick's biggest fan. I highly doubt he can be told what to do, but a sheep wouldn't even understand this concept. Uh, you could buy Ralph's asshole for like 50 bucks at this point, I'm pretty sure. Ralph says, Ricada Law hasn't told me anything to do other than where to meet him for a very enjoyable meal. Ew, that has sexual implications. The whole witness intimidation angle is laughable for a guy, M. Holt, who was trying to fight me live on air and was charged with a felony yesterday for harassing Kata's wife. I have my own beef with Aaron M. Holt because he's a snake. Nothing to do with Nick. Also, he's painfully unfunny. I do support Ricada and his family in this fight, though. It was nice to be there to support them with the rest of the court uh, when the rest of the court was filled with Kiwi Farms vultures, minus one other support figure. I missed a week of shows and paid for the trip myself. I went on principle rather than trying to make a buck. I know that's a foreign concept to people like Josh Moon. The idiots on his board and the grifter lawyers who have been trying to ruin Nick for months. He continues. Blurpy says, what principles is that? You have no principles. Look at how you traded Faith in May. You crawled back to Ricada when he was the last person with clout you could latch on to when Fuentes wouldn't take you back. Ralph replies and says, 
I made peace with Nick long before my falling out with Fuentes. And if it's about clout when all these other people are trying to destroy him, okay. It's about nostalgia and old friendship more than anything. Josh wouldn't understand because he's no loyalty or even thoughts of straight shooting. Just turn the mob on someone and let them go. Then again, you're a KF idiot. So I don't expect much. Uh, so that's his wise words about uh, Ricada. Uh, what he's doing, by the way, what he's responding to are some concerns regarding uh, this, which I think I might have read on Friday, but I'll reread because there's a brief update. Ralph says, The Keel stream is organizing a letter-writing campaign to the Stearns County, Minnesota jail to tell every inmate that Aaron M. Holt is a proud snitch who has proclaimed that publicly. He's talked about how he's eager to turn the state's witness snitch. The inmates deserve to know. Uh, followed up by this was some wise encouragement from Dax Herrera, a.k.a. Dick Masterson, a.k.a. Juju the Cow, a man who likes to get fucked in the ass while dressed as a cow. He says, Ralph, has, uh, found, a convicted, Ralph found a convicted murderer with a drug charge. Great example of someone who needs to know if a snitch is poking around. Um, so this is Dax Herrera, a.k.a. Juju the Cow, um, encouraging Ethan Ralph to contact an inmate of the Stearns County Jail in Minnesota to tell them that Aaron M. Holt is a snitch, with the implication that this person who is a convicted murderer would again commit murder against Aaron M. Holt because Aaron M. Holt expressed that he would turn state and discuss or testify against Nick Ricada on behalf of prosecution. Ethan Ralph insists that this is not witness intimidation. I wonder how that will play out long term. Uh, Master Mason Milo at Gay Fate Catholic <laughs> says, Ralph, have you ever considered that you're giving ideas to your enemies? Ricada is going to jail too. We can write letters too. Honestly, if I was Nick Ricada, I would have told you to shut the fuck up weeks ago. I can't believe he's trusting you to be involved at all. What a moron. Ethan Ralph says, Ricada ain't going to jail, you moron. He's rich and a lawyer. No time. You're an idiot if you haven't figured that out, by the way. Lamau. I mean, now that Ralph's saying it, um, <laughs> I may change my mind, though. He might just get uh, parole. So why is Aaron Imholt going to jail, as we discussed last stream? There was a warrant issued for his arrest in Stearns County, uh, Minnesota for two charges of revenge pornography. He was uh, has allegedly shared nude images of Kayla Ricada without her consent to other people. Um, the first charge is a misdem gross misdemeanor, um, alleging that he did this. And then the second charge is an aggravated charge of revenge pornography, stating that he did this with intent to harass or intimidate Rick uh, Kayla, which is different. I suppose if you just share the image, then it's like, oh, well, guess, silly me, clownsy me, I shared the image. But if you're doing it specifically to harass somebody, or as part of a harassment campaign, then it becomes a felony. So he was arrested, or rather he turned himself in when he was told of the warrant um, after Labor Day weekend. He was booked. This is his mugshot. You can say whatever you want to say about it. Um, not really too flattering. Kind of looks like a like a high school teacher, to be honest with you. Yeah, he was arraigned. Ethan Ralph streamed it, um, which, again, is not legal in Minnesota. <laughs> and the judge wanted a $100,000 cash bond. And the uh, attorney said that's pretty fucking high. And judge was like, okay, so here's 75000 That's $25,000 more for the cocaine, illegal weapons possession, and child endangerment charge that both the Brigadas got. So he got a fucking high bond set. Um, now, it's unconditional bond, and I think he's already paid it and he's out. Um, however, someone made it... Um, Someone said that the reason why it was high is that he's had other run-ins. He's not a first-time offender. He was arrested before for harassment um, towards his ex-wife, and he had recently violated a restraining order against her. Um, so he's effectively a repeat offender when it comes to harassing women. Uh, so the um, that makes more sense to me, <laughs> why they, they ask for more money. Um, so now it's curious what's going to happen with him. Is he going to be able to like talk about the case? He's going to have to watch his mouth if he does. 
He's not really a lawyer either. Um, so that's what Aaron's up to. That's the, the sector update. Ralph was trying to find more claims to relevance. And by the way, um, since Juju the Cow, a.k.a. Dax Rare, a man who gets fucked in the ass while dressed as a cow, a man who gets fucked in the ass while dressed as a cow while trying to intimidate witnesses, um, is mentioned. I'll just say this. Um, Juju, I got your script in the mail for this season, and I, I, my honest feedback is that there are some things I like, however, it's not really pushing the boundary enough to be discussed. I like that your turn. I like the idea of the the turnover. Like, oh, we're gonna have a like a local live esque fight with the co-hosts. I get that, but you're it's not extreme enough. Like, if you're gonna do this, I better like you know how, Boogie set the bar pretty high with his season. Um, if I'm gonna talk about it, I'm gonna need. You can't just say that you pretended to be a pedophile. You have to say that Vito is a pedophile. Um, I do like the whole guilt by association angle. Like, I took eight shit for you. But you have to say that he's a pedophile because he is one. Um, if you can get him to tattoo pedophile on his face, um, I would talk about that. And if you um, made him cry. And I, I don't know if the webcam is high enough quality. You might want to get a better webcam so I can see the tears running down his face as you scream at him. Like, in the, this is how I imagine this. This is how I can pitch this to my audience, okay? So for this season, what you got to do is you got to sit him down and say... You know, you banned the super chatters, and the money is the most important thing, Vito. You're a fat retard. You're here to be made fun of. You're supposed to look bad, but you don't fuck with the money. You fat fucking pedophile piece of shit, child rapist, chomo, worthless, fucking degenerate. And you got to make, you got to scream this at him in his fucking face until he's crying and groveling to be kept on and given a second chance. Kind of like with Boogie. You got you to gotta kick it up a notch if you want it to be... You want people to talk about it because otherwise it's just obviously fake bullshit. Um, and as far as um, I also got Ralph's script pitch. Um, he's kind of hinting that he wants to do a third baby mama saga. I kind of dig the serial, the serialization, you know, episodic stuff. It can be very entertaining. It's very comforting to an audience that's come to know him as the deadbeat dad. Um, but you got to commit to it before we start talking about it. I, I, I need, I need both players on the webcam in Mexico uh, before it becomes a relevant topic. That's just how it is. Um, as far as what I got, it's like a two or three out of ten, and I need something better than that. Sorry. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.